STS-27 was the second launch after the accident, but we were attempting to be very much secret. It was a military mission, and I can't talk about the payload, the function, the name, anything like that. Uh, I can say that it was deployed with the robot arm. I can't say anything else. Ignition and liftoff. Atlantis begins another space voyage as it clears the tower. Mission Control called us the day after the deployment, and they asked us if we had seen anything whiz by the window during launch. <laughs> it's one of those things, no, why do you ask? Based on photography that was taken uh, during ascent, there was a possibility that some, some tiles had been damaged on the undersurface of the space shuttle. Let me see camera 10. Freeze it. Those tiles act as the heat shield and protect the crew from the, the high heat of re-entry, which reaches as high as 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. If you had a large number of tiles damaged, there was concern that the heat would concentrate in one area and eventually burn through the aluminum structure underneath. We better let Atlantis know. You have 3,000 degree heat entered into an aluminum vehicle. Shuttle melts at 1,000 degrees. So if you have a hole in the carbon panels on the nose of the leading edge of the wing, it's going to be fatal on reentry. The tiles in that area are black. They're very shiny black surfaces. But if you peeled away the black, if you chipped into them, you see white. There shouldn't be any white down there whatsoever. So anything that's white means that the surface of that tile has been removed. It was quickly apparent to us that, that we had been hit by the debris. It's hard to tell, though, how many and how badly uh, they were damaged, because even though we had a camera there, the sunlight on this very shiny black surface, it's like trying to get a good view of a black mirror in very bright sunlight. I don't think there was any illusion on the part of the crew that we might very well be in a rather extreme situation during re-entry. And I'll never forget, I didn't say it out loud, but I said it to myself, I said, we are gonna die.